Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale. Hey, these type of air filters are really expensive. So one of the main questions I have is, do I need to change this Merv 16 filter once a year like they recommend? So right now, this is the perfect time to put this question to the test. My existing air filter is about a year old. I think I usually replace it in October. Um, I think I did that last year. Right now it's late September. One of the reasons it's really a great time to do this right now is because we have wildfires going on in Colorado right now. And the air quality outside is pretty terrible. Um, you can barely even see the mountains, which is kind of odd for us because usually we have crystal blue skies. I'm not an expert on air quality, uh, but since I live in the Denver area, which is probably in the top 15 in terms of worst air quality, I would call myself slightly educated. If you uh, have any recommendations on how to do this test better next year, just let me know in the comments below. Okay, my idea for this test is pretty simple. I will turn the blower on um, to, to from circulate to on. So instead of running every like 10 minutes for five minutes at a time, it's going to turn on and just stay on the entire time. And it's kind of just a slow moving air. It's not like a, it's not moving the air as fast as it usually does when like the air conditioning is on. So I'll let that run for about two hours uh, while keeping an eye on the outside pollution levels to make sure they're not really changing. And after that, I'll put this new air filter in and let it run for two hours. And then we'll just see how the PM 2.5 levels I've changed. Okay, before we change out the air filter with the new one, let's go ahead and do some measurements indoors. I'm in my office, um, and the air has been running continuously for the last couple hours. Um, and so hit click measure. Um, you can see I have it set to indoor. I don't know how well you can hear it. You might be able to hear a little fan buzzing in the background. I'm kind of far away from it, so you might not be able to hear it. Basically, it just pulls air into the chamber, and then I guess this lasers from Sharp um, the company Sharp uh, measures the particulates in the air. And you can see it's 15 and 1. Let's go ahead and I'm going to move it to a different part of the house. So I'm getting like 7 and 1, 10 and 1, 8 and 1. I've been getting a lot of numbers like that. Pull that out. All right, this is the, I guess, the carbon side. Again, I'm no expert on this, but you can take a look at what that looks like on like that side. Let's compare this to the brand new one. Here's the brand new one. I gotta say they look pretty much the same. All right, this is what, this is the new one in terms of the other side. This is the uh, side that the air hits from I guess the rooms inside the house. And then let's go ahead and look at the old one. <laughs> okay, here we go. We've got some moths. We had tons of moths this past year. Uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, but as you can see, lots of uh, stuff in there. Uh, yeah. We have, I don't know if I've already said, but we also have a cat. There's four people that live in this house. All right, let's go ahead and uh, put the new one in. There we go. And then we'll turn it back on again. All right, it's back up and running. While it's uh, running this test, let me just talk to you about my house really quick. Um, I had a blower door test about a year ago. I have a 25 year old house and the ACH, so the air changes per hour at 50 pascals was 5.9. That's gonna be lower than that because I went around after that and I did a bunch of air sealing, especially in the attic and some other places got some new windows put in. So I'm gonna guess that air changes per hour is maybe down around four, four and a half. Um, so the blower door test was uh, 3645 CFM 50. Um, and also I have my total volume of my house is 37,000 cubic feet. I'm using the Purple Air uh, website and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and you can see maybe the average between those is, I don't know, 117, 118 in terms of the PM 2.5. Um, and I believe this is on real time. I'm not showing a 10 minute average, so it's showing what it's recording at that time. If I click on one that's close to me, 
it'll bring up a graph and you can see it's kind of going up and down but for the most part um, since this morning it seems to be saying pretty close to above a hundred uh, 120 area as you can see there okay it's been two hours before we check on with the measurement inside let's look outside again this is from purple air this is the boulder uh, area we zoom in to the ones that we looked at before these are closer to my house uh, it's come down slightly a little bit not too much and now it's averaging maybe 114 or so all right, here comes the answer to the test. Actually, you can see I've already run one test already. It's a four and one, so it is lower. Let's go ahead and run another one, um, and I'll go ahead and move it around the house several times. Before we had, what, a 15, an eight, and a seven. I think the lowest we ever got was seven when I did multiple tests around the house. Uh, maybe this will be a little bit lower. Let's see. Oh, four and one again. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move it and run another test. Okay, wow, we actually hit a one and one So yeah, maybe you do need to change your filter, this MERV-16 filter, about once a year. I'm not talking about other filters like the real thin ones that you should probably do every month or so, but these heavy-duty, very um, expensive ones, uh, maybe they do require to be um, changed once a year because I am getting lower numbers. I got like a four, a three. And now I just got a one and I took measurements around the house similar to where I had it before. Okay, and if you guys are wondering, this Airmon with the sharp sensors built into it, I'm not saying they're the most accurate thing out there. I did go to the local um, government uh, funded uh, air monitoring stations like this one in Boulder. Uh, there was another one near my house as well. Um, and they matched up pretty close. I mean, really, really close. I'm not saying this cheap $35 monitor is perfect. Um, those purple air ones, I think around $300, so they're probably better, but the government ones are much, much better. Um, so, but this is all relative. So we went from like 15, you know, for PM 2.5, uh, an eight and a seven. And now we're getting four, three and one. So yeah, I guess uh, overall the, Changing an air filter once a year like this one is probably a good idea. All right. Hope that helps. Bye.